When our current version of Inferno replaced the old, we lost the ability to smoke off banana either from CT spawn or the arch area, and we saw the meta shift towards often starting three players towards the B site to really lock down that deep banana control. And I thought those days were here to stay. That was until I discovered something similar to this. And no, it wasn't actually meant to be a demonstration of some poor clipping that Valve should fix, but rather a deep banana smoke for the two players over at B to really lock down this banana control. And you can see as the players push through, they clearly thought there was going to be a smoke there, they flash and molly as per usual, but the smoke isn't quite in position and Oscar gets a nice easy pick. Now the idea of being able to smoke off banana from the A site was very interesting to me. So I came up with a lineup which I thought was slightly better. You're just going to find the bottom of this grey thing, come up to the bottom. And I hope this provides a little bit more consistency to what they were trying to do. So it's going to bounce off that wall, come and ball back out, and it's really going to deny the information from the angle that Oscar was trying to hold. However, this smoke isn't the best. You can play in front of it, gives the T side a lot more uh, just room to move. And if you do play right on the edge of it, you can see you can aim somewhere as they come around the corner, get a shot, and you can escape really easily. And it's very hard to be punished. Obviously, they can flash you off. But we've seen players such as simple really abuse playing on the edge of smokes. Of course, with the normal smoke thrown by the CT side, Maybe something like so. This isn't really possible because if you want to play on the edge of it as a T player, you've got so much further to run back through the smoke and away that you're much more likely to get punished. So obviously this smoke is far superior on the CT side. And I already knew a way to do this. I've known for about a month. A young fella called James showed me. You back yourself into this corner. You're going to A up in the sky right here. It's a view model lineup. I'll show you how to do it in a second. You're going to run forward. Just toss your smoke. That's going to hit the top of the roof. Fall down into banana. And that's basically a perfect deep banana control smoke. Obviously, however, view bottle smokes are annoying. For me personally, I use a bit of my glove and the wire, I'll circle it in red. But I wanted you guys to have a way of lining it up. No matter what your crosshair, no matter what your view model was, actually probably makes more sense. But you're going to find this dark patch on the wall, on top of this box. Bottom right hand corner of that is a little bit darker than the rest. Just tuck yourself on top of this crate into this corner. You're going to have up in the corner, like so. And just don't move your mouse right now. And you're going to move yourself back into that position I showed before, in front of that hay cart. And you're going to see my glove's going to line up exactly the same as before, pretty much. I'm going to run forward again for me personally. I hit about here on my screen. I use the balcony on the left, just under the mini-map for when I want to throw it. And that's basically how I do it. Release like so. That's going to again bounce off the top of this roof. Come all the way down and smoke off the bottom of banana. And that's basically as simple as I can get it for you guys. I looked around everywhere for different markings, but I think the best way possible for you guys, into this corner, aim at that corner, come back over here. You're going to position yourself again. You're going to be looking up in the sky. View model like so. Run forward. Hit that point in your screen and just re-smoke off the bottom of banana. And it's as simple as that. And that's it guys. Make sure to subscribe for this kind of content. A little bit different to what I normally do. Another shorter video, but hopefully very interesting. And I'm really intrigued to see if teams actually use this. Sharks is the first one I've seen actually implement anything even similar. So maybe some bigger tier 1s team we can maybe try it out. See if they can find a solution to getting some better banana control. But as I said guys, subscribe. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in the next video.